another video. Today, um, lo que vamos a hacer es que we're gonna we're gonna open up. Uh, uh, it tastes like a grand opening of the shop. We're gonna have my homies play there, vuelo privado. You know, we invited everybody. We sent out a flyer. So I mean, uh, it's gonna be pretty pretty nice, pretty chill. Well, I hope it's chill, cause she, I got out of control. I'm kicking all your motherfuckers out. Nah, I'm just playing. But yeah, um, today's gonna be the day that we uh, do a, what's it called, a grand opening of the shop. Uh, and um, we're gonna, I'm trying to record as much as I can throughout the day. I mean, I am busy today at window tints. So um, right now, I'm on my way to get a haircut because I haven't got one in three weeks, which sucks. But yeah, I'll pick up the vlog whenever I'm there, guys. Six and a half hours later. That's so much better. I just got cleaned up. I mean, I got a fresh fade. But uh, today, I mean, right now, I really, I really, I'm, I'm short-handed. I mean, I can't do nothing right now because I'm not gonna work. So uh, I gotta get this over with before I even do anything. But other than that, um, today the the party's gonna go down. Today we're gonna have my homies solo privado, Adrian. Uh, you know, uh, he's gonna come play. He, 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 he sings badass. But yeah, after today, I'll probably vlog a little bit while I'm window tinting, you know, transforming. We got a sick Dodge Ram, 2500, I mean, 3500, I believe, Mega Cab. I love that color. It's like burgundy, uh, maroon. I, I don't even know the name of that color, but it's so beautiful. That's a color I want to get my truck. But uh, yeah, I'll record a little bit there. And then um, after that, I'll probably go... Um, I'll probably move the stuff around so people that are in the shop well, today they won't you know they won't bump into it. But uh, you know I'll, I'll keep I'll, I'll record I'll try to record as much as I can. I will record tonight as well so I can edit the video tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow. Well, maybe tomorrow morning I'll wake up an extra early. You know uploading it because tomorrow we have to go to Waco for they, it's called Valley on the Mills. So uh, I think that that meet is pretty big. So we're gonna go over there tomorrow. I'll vlog as well over there going going over there. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'll pick up the vlog whenever I'm doing something else that is a little bit more interesting, not just me talking on the camera. Well, yeah, guys, I'll pick up the vlog. So we're out here at work. We're at the shop working on the on this truck. We got this nice, I told you I would show you the truck, but it's fucking nice. Believe me, it's nice. It has American forces. We're tinting it right now, right? We're right here with Chavo. We're installing, he's installing some ring lights. It's double Oracle. Okay, I'll, try to, I'll try to record it at night how it looks, if he's still here. But I mean, okay, so all my guys are asking me, how do I window tint, right? Okay, so for example, let's say that I'm installing, this is a ceramic film, right? I'm installing that ceramic film, right? Now, in order for you to have a smooth install, you have to shrink on the outside. If you shrink on the outside, you will have a nice and smooth install. So what you do basically is you have to, you have to get, once you cut out the video, with the, once you cut out the window, you will basically see some fingers and then, and, then, and then you spray it down, right? You tack it down and everything. You'll basically, when you tack it down, you see some fingers popping up, right? You gotta leave it about maybe like a quarter inch from this seal and you start to see fingers pop up. Once those fingers pop up, you have to heat it with the heat gun and shrink them down. So then whenever you go ahead and install, you have a nice smooth install. Let me show you guys. Okay, this is gonna be me installing the window, right? This is a squeegee that I have, it's a professional squeegee. All you gotta do look nice and smooth. Everything should go in there. See that? That's what you have to do in order to have a nice and smooth install. Sorry, I'm stuttering. But yeah, that's what you have to do to have a nice smooth install. Uh, I'll record a little bit more. I'll pick up the vlog. So yeah, I'll, I'll pick it up in a bit. As I was talking to you, there was gonna be a party for a grand opening, but what happened, I, I didn't record that night because I mean, we were busy. I, I was busy, you know, trying to get everything going. But let me explain what happened, right? Uh, so what happened was that, you know, you know, people, I mean, we, we threw a party, you know, we had a, a guys there, you know, they were drinking, having fun, right? I clearly we made a we made a flyer saying respect the property, respect you know respect respect the property most you know more than furthermore you should respect the property. 
We also in the flyer clearly said no bottles, but cans. Being said that when somebody drinks, and I, I say it too because I mean I, I, I like to, you know to drink some beers as well. Shit could get out of hand real quick. So I'm making this video just to clearly you know people asking me hey y'all wanna like they're, they're, what happened what happened. Well, this is what happened. So, you know, we start hearing bottles breaking. We're like, okay, what the hell is going on? I mean, this is a property that we, Jaime and Adrian, got. So, I mean, it needs to be respected, you know? So, uh, then out of nowhere, you know, the party's over, a group started to stop playing, and we hear burning out. We start hearing people driving crazy, you know. We had a guy almost hit a sheriff patrol vehicle. You know, there were, people were getting angry. We had to get him out, we had to kick him out. Maybe the way we reacted was not the right way, appropriate way to do so. But it's a property. It, it, it's a property that, you know, it, it costs money to have. It's not cheap, you know. I'm thankful for those that came out and had fun, you know, and respected what's our, ours, you know. But you can't go come and, and really fuck up somebody's property that they really work hard for and then just pushing it off thinking you're gonna get away with it because you're not gonna get away with it. And then here's the thing, you could be a good, good, really, like, really good friend of mine, right? But if you're not gonna respect what's mine, I'm not gonna respect you. Because clearly, if you're my friend, you're not going to come and fuck my shit up. So this is why I make, you know, today, I, I'm giving an explanation of what happened the day of that party. So for those who take it the, who took it the wrong way, who took it into, you know, fuck that nigga, my bad for that N-word, but, you know, who took it, like, fuck him, you know, he kicked us out. I did not kick y'all out. Y'all kicked yourselves out for acting the way you're acting. So... With that being said, my apologies if you if, if you feel like I disrespected you or if you feel like you disrespected me, I take your apology. And if I disrespected you, swipe up my Snapchat. Tell me, hey, this is what happened. We could talk about it, but like civilized persons because fighting is not going to get you nowhere in life. Let me just put that, nowhere. But, you know, if you feel like you were disrespected, text me. Send me a message and let me know what I did wrong, okay? But it's not cool to come and disrespect nobody's property, to come and tell somebody, hey, you know, to burn out tires, to crack bottles, because at the end of the day, I was the one that had to pick it up. I was the one that had to take care of the restroom because it was all clogged up, it was nasty, messy. So, like I said, I'm sorry. But I you know I'll continue to upload videos and keep you guys entertained. But uh, you know, if anything, message me, shoot me a message, and we'll work something out. And I'm out.